Mars may not be the barren wasteland we once thought. Recent findings from China's Zhurong rover, published in the journal Scientific Reports, have uncovered compelling evidence suggesting that a vast ocean once covered the Martian northern lowlands. This groundbreaking discovery challenges our understanding of the Red Planet's history and raises exciting possibilities about its capacity to harbor life. In this video, we'll explore how Zhurong's findings are reshaping the scientific narrative about Mars. We'll delve into the rover's key discoveries in Utopia Planitia, discuss the implications for Mars' geological history, and examine the ongoing debates within the scientific community. China's Mars rover Zhurong has unveiled compelling new evidence, suggesting that Mars may once have harbored an ancient ocean. Published in the journal Scientific Reports, this groundbreaking research combines in situ data collected by Zhurong with remote sensing observations, revealing geological features indicative of an ancient nearshore environment in Mars' northern lowlands. As part of China's Tianwen-1 mission, the Zhurong rover successfully landed on Utopia Planitia, a vast plain in Mars' northern hemisphere in May 2021. The mission's primary objective was to explore Martian geology and assess the planet's past habitability. Utopia Planitia was chosen for its flat terrain, which facilitated a safe landing, and its scientific potential due to previous indications that it might have once been submerged underwater. Recent analyses from Zhurong suggest that significant flooding occurred in Utopia Planitia approximately 3.68 billion years ago. Bo Wu, a planetary scientist from Hong Kong Polytechnic University and lead author of the study, stated, the ocean surface was likely frozen for a geologically short period. This implies that while the ocean existed, it may have been covered by ice, similar to some bodies of water found in Earth's polar regions. The study details a variety of marine landscape features identified in southern Utopia Planitia. These include areas such as a foreshore highland lowland transition zone, a shallow marine environment, and a deeper marine setting. The foreshore highland lowland transition suggests the presence of ancient shorelines where the highlands met the lowland plains, indicative of a coastal area. The shallow marine zone points to regions that were once underwater but at relatively low depths, while the deeper marine environment indicates areas that were submerged under more significant depths of water. These findings reflect a complex evolution of Mars' northern lowlands and provide more refined insights into the scope and nature of the hypothesized ancient ocean. By analyzing the layering and composition of sedimentary deposits, the research offers tangible evidence supporting the long-debated existence of a Martian ocean. The presence of sedimentary layering is particularly significant because it suggests processes of deposition over time, which on Earth are often associated with water activity. Zhurong's instruments detected signs of heavily silted water, meaning that the ocean likely carried a high load of sediments. Co-author Sergei Krasilnikov noted, the water was heavily silted, forming the layering structure of the deposits. This sedimentation could have been caused by erosion from surrounding landforms, transporting particles into the ocean and depositing them on the ocean floor. The resulting stratification provides a historical record of environmental conditions during that period. The implications of Zhurong's findings are profound for our understanding of Mars' geological history and its potential to support life. Researchers estimate that the ancient ocean identified in Utopia Planitia disappeared by roughly 3.42 billion years ago as Mars underwent significant climatic changes, gradually transforming into the cold, dry planet we observe today. This timeline suggests that the ocean existed during a critical period in Mars' evolution, bridging the late Noetian and early Hesperian epochs. The study proposes that the region underwent several stages of development. Initial flooding around 3.68 billion years ago, significant flooding events led to the inundation of the northern lowlands, forming the ancient ocean. This flooding could have been caused by volcanic activity, asteroid impacts, or the release of subsurface water and ice. Formation of marine environments during the early Hesperian epoch, the ocean evolved to include shallow and deep marine areas. The shallow marine zones likely featured environments similar to Earth's coastal regions, while the deeper areas could have hosted conditions analogous to Earth's oceanic basins. 
Mars experienced a loss of subsurface volatiles elements and compounds with low boiling points, such as water and carbon dioxide. This loss contributed to the thinning of the atmosphere and the eventual disappearance of surface water. The existence of an ancient ocean raises the possibility that Mars once supported microbial life. Water is a fundamental ingredient for life as we know it, and the presence of a long-standing body of liquid water increases the likelihood that life could have emerged. Bowu emphasized this point, stating, the presence of an ancient ocean on Mars has been proposed and studied for several decades, yet significant uncertainty remains. The new findings not only provide further evidence to support the theory of a Martian ocean, but also present, for the first time, a discussion on its probable evolutionary scenario. When this ocean existed, Mars may have already begun losing its once thick atmosphere, shifting away from a more Earth-like climate. The thinning atmosphere would have led to a decrease in surface pressure and temperature, causing the ocean to freeze and eventually sublimate into space. Despite this, the window during which liquid water was present could have been sufficient for microbial life to develop. Co-author Sergei Krasilnikov added, in the early history of Mars, when it likely had a warm, dense atmosphere, microbial life would have been more possible. While the evidence presented by Zhurong is compelling, the scientific community remains cautious, emphasizing the need for rigorous analysis and peer review. Some researchers point out that similar geological features can form through processes that do not involve liquid water. For instance, pitted cones might result from volcanic or tectonic activity unrelated to the presence of an ocean. Wind erosion and other aeolian processes could also shape the landscape in ways that mimic water-induced formations. Benjamin Cardenas, a Martian geologist at Pennsylvania State University, expressed skepticism regarding the ocean hypothesis. He notes that over billions of years, Martian winds could have significantly altered or eroded features that would definitively indicate a past ocean, making it challenging to draw concrete conclusions from surface observations alone. Moreover, the limitations of Zhurong's operational range and the scope of its instruments mean that it cannot explore the entirety of Utopia Planitia or conduct subsurface investigations that might reveal more direct evidence of past water. In situ measurements provide valuable data but are not sufficient to confirm the existence of an ancient ocean unequivocally. This skepticism highlights the importance of continued exploration and the need for multiple lines of evidence. Future missions could deploy advanced rovers or landers equipped with drilling capabilities to sample subsurface materials. Orbiters with enhanced remote sensing instruments could map the geological features of Mars in greater detail, providing broader context for localized findings. International collaboration is also crucial. Combining data from various missions, such as NASA's Perseverance rover and the European Space Agency's ExoMars program, can help build a more comprehensive understanding of Mars history. Collaborative efforts enable the cross-validation of findings and the pooling of resources and expertise. In this video, we have explored how China's Zhurong rover has unveiled compelling evidence suggesting that Mars once hosted a vast ancient ocean. We've delved into the rover's groundbreaking discoveries in Utopia Planitia, examined the implications for Mars' geological history and potential for life, and discussed the ongoing scientific debates and future exploration efforts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. Please share your comment in below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.